Hello, welcome back to another video. If you've seen my previous videos, you probably noticed that I own two Festool saws, the Track saw and the small Capex miter saw, and I really like both of them. Some weeks ago, I got an invitation by Festool for the presentation of the new table saw, the TKS80 with saw stop technology. I was really excited as this is the first product launched by Festool with this technology after the purchase of the SawStop company by TTS, the mother company of Festool, back in 2017. Until now, this technology was not available for the European market, and as far as I know, only Laura Kampf has one in Europe. By the way, if you don't, you should definitely follow her, she's awesome. Maybe there are more, but in Europe it's extremely difficult to get one of these saws that are famous for allowing woodworkers to keep all their fingers. Oh, and also for the sausage demos as well, but we'll get to that later. If you're not familiar with the saw stop technology, it's actually a quite simple but really clever design. In this video from saw stop YouTube channel, you can see how it works. The saw analyzes the current differential in a similar way as a differential circuit breaker that you should have in your home electrical installation. The blade is charged with electricity, and in case of contact with anything conductive, let's say a finger, there is a current leak. When the saw detects this current leak, it triggers a spring that retracts the blade and smashes it almost instantaneously in an aluminium piece that works as a brake. This happens in less than 5 milliseconds and the result is only a tiny scratch instead of the otherwise disaster. Of course, the downside is that you need to replace both the blade and the brake cartridge, but how much is a finger's worth? These don't grow back, so at least I consider mine priceless. Regarding the new saw, there are two versions of the TKS80, one very basic with almost just the saw itself, and then you have the full blown version with all the accessories. In the demo, there was only the higher spec version available, but I think that the cheapest option is really not that interesting as you'll be missing a lot of really nice features. I would say that this saw is something in between a job site saw and a shop saw. It's not as portable as a Dewalt 745 or a Bosch GTS 10 for instance, but it's still quite portable. If you have the full version, its compactness and ease of transport decreases a bit, since all the extension tables can become a bit cumbersome to carry around. Nevertheless, the legs fold and the extension tables can be disassembled, which is nice if you're planning to carry it to the job site. Also, after assembled, you have the saw at the proper height, which is quite comfortable. You can have it all, you either can have compactness or have the extra features. If you've seen or worked with a saw stop before, this saw will feel very familiar as it comes with the same safety features as a saw stop cabinet saw. Here you can clearly see the blinking LED that shows that the saw is detecting the hand touching the blade. A cool feature is the angle stop which is present in both the basic model and the full spec version. If you get the full spec version though, you also get a sliding table, which together with the angle stop gives you a nice crosscut slab. The blade only tilts from minus 2 to 47 degrees, but raising and lowering the blade is as easy as turning the bare ground knob. The extra 2 degrees are obtained by unlocking the adjuster as seen here. It has two vacuum sources and the dust collection appears to be quite effective, keeping the tradition of the Festool products. It also comes with a blade guard, which is not only a vacuum source but an increased level of safety. The higher spec version also includes an awesome fence. The main knob tightens only the forward part but with the simple push of a lever, the back side of the fence locks square in place. It also has a micro adjustment knob, really great for those precision cuts. No more bumping on the fence to move it just a hair. Here you can see some cut examples, and the things that I've noticed the most was the great dust collection and the cleanliness of the cuts. Making nice cuts with no tear out in melamine was also not an issue with this saw. We haven't tried making cuts in big chunks of hardwood, but the 2200 motor should handle it with no issues. And then came the highlight of the day, which was the sausage test. First cut was only with the MDF, and then came the finger cut simulation.
It's amazing how quick the blade retracts, and I'm happy to say that no fingers or sausages were harmed in the making of this demo. The blade and brake cartridge are easily removed, and here you can see the blade completely stuck in the aluminium brake. To get the saw back to operation, it's as easy as spending about 250 to 300 euros, depending on the blade. After installing the new brake cartridge and the new blade, you're ready to cut again. As a conclusion, I really like the saw. It'll never be as stable as a cast iron top cabinet saw, and I imagine that cutting wide sheet goods can be a pain. But for instance, if you have a track saw for the initial cuts, this saw has several features that allow for really precise final cuts. Also, the saw stop technology gives you some peace of mind that at the end of the day, you'll probably be left with all your fingers. It has to be said that by having such a backup technology, you shouldn't let your guard down. You should practice safety in every cut and in every machine. But it's an added layer of protection and those are never too many. Unfortunately, it's simply too expensive for me at the stage I'm in right now. Maybe in the future I can afford one of those. As Forrest Gump once said, life is like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're gonna get. I would like to thank Festool for having me in this demo and for allowing me to record the demo on video. I had an awesome time and met really great people. So what do you feel about this saw? Do you think that the saw stop technology justifies the cost? It's a fact that you can get a cabinet saw for less than what it costs, but you'll be losing the safety features. Leave a comment down below, I would love to check your thoughts on this. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. I have lots of projects in the making, so stick around. See you on the next video, and take care out there.